Good evening, Brother Knights. This is George Stump, and I am the State Mentally Impaired Programs Director. I'll be presenting on the current results of the Columbus Weekend MI Drive and the plans for the upcoming Palm Sunday Drive. 247 councils reported as having a fall drive. As of December 22nd, 173 councils submitted their forms and checks totaling about $475,000 and over 500 checks were sent back to the councils for their charities. There are several councils that still need to report. Please have your councils get their checks and forms in immediately. I'll be sending an email to the district deputies with specifics by council next week. With the ongoing health crisis and restrictions this fall, this is a true testament of what the Michigan Knights are all about and what they can do to help others. Now, I know that many of the councils were not able to fundraise in a traditional way for the last drive, but here are some ideas that councils use to make this so successful and some ideas for the upcoming drive. For instance, virtual pancake breakfasts and fish fries, asking for donations of the amount of the cost of one of these events on a certain date from those who would normally attend. Them. Contacting parish members, either by mail or email, and new this year, Supreme is not billing councils per capita in January, which is a savings of $3.75 per billable member. That money can be earmarked for the drive. Here is a copy of the poster for the upcoming Palm Sunday weekend drive, which is scheduled for March 26, 27th, and 28th, with alternate dates on March 19th, 20th, and 21st, and April 9th, 10th, and 11th. The weekend after Easter. As for the posters, I will email an eight and a half by 11 PDF, which can be printed on your home printer, and an 11 by 17 size, which can be printed at an Office Depot or Staples at about $1.70 per copy. That cost can be charged back to the program on the MI 13 report. Early in February, I'll be sending each of the district deputies a letter of instructions with a self-addressed stamped postcard. That postcard will identify your councils and require that the DD indicate whether that council will be conducting a Palm Sunday drive. Check the appropriate column and drop the card in the mail before the drive. If there are any subsequent changes that occur after that card is emailed or mailed in, the DD needs to notify me via email of the changes. I need the most accurate information so I can ensure that the council send the forms and checks to me after the drive. Here is all the specific information about the materials, supplies, and due dates needed in the preparation for the drive, including the posters, vests, and Tootsie Rolls. District deputies, please note that there is an 18 case minimum for the Tootsie Roll orders. Get with your councils and consolidate their orders into one if necessary. If there are not 18 cases needed, contact one of the other DDs in the area and consolidate with them. Here's all the specific information about the insurance that will be effective from March 19th through April 12th. Hopefully we can obtain this policy because there was only one company that would cover this event for our last event in Columbus Day due to that pandemic that we have. These are the follow-ups after the drive. Please remind the councils to get the forms and checks in as soon as possible after the drive. And then this is a summary checklist for you of all the tasks of the drive. And finally, I wanna thank you and your councils for participating and for making our MI drive one of the most successful fundraisers in our order.